guys. Uh, welcome back to my sleepwalker run. We're starting out on day 30, the big 3-0, so 30 days of survival. This is great. We're in Hush River Valley. We're in an ice cave. And yeah, it's a little bit, it's uncharted territory. We explored this ice cave yesterday. And I started a fire because I was afraid that a wolf was going to eat us in our sleep. And I think it's a fairly legit fear because I understand that there's wolves in these ice caves. Uh, okay, that was a not so good torch. That's a much better torch. Okay, so let's break that bad torch down. Uh, actions harvest. harvest and basically I think our stay in Hush River Valley might be coming to an end soon it's uh, it's been great but I think we I don't know exactly but I think we've exhausted many of the uh, resources it has to offer and okay so we gotta do a climb here oh and can I even take oh yeah I guess I can. there we go leave anything behind took my bedroll hey guys let's get out of here and yeah so the only thing I'm really nervous about oh that looks like the exit there let's see down that hall what do we got here oh oh what have we here gee and I hadn't found a, a ski jacket yet 48% cal- uh... Matches are great. 90% sardines, that's great. Gee, bedroll. Um, That'll come in handy. 59%er. I hate leaving it behind, it's beautiful, but... You know, we don't really need it, so... A little coal. This is a great little spot. So that was a crazy loot drop with a hacksaw on top of it. Good to know that this is a place to find some really high in loot um, down what looks like to be the end of this cave here let's just see overweight okay more coal a lot more coal See when the thing pops up to exit. That's definitely the way out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just set up a quick fire just to establish that we have a fire to fall back on if it happens to be a blizzard outside. So I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, guys, this was an easy. Found the exit pretty easily. And I guess we're going to probably do some. A little bit of um, reishi for the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss a cedar in. Actually, can't toss a coal in, so let's toss a cedar in. And yeah, let's put our reishi on. Do we, how many do we have on the go? A fair number. Gee, I could do the pork and beans, 48%. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, let's take a quick peek. Put up my torch. Hello. Whoa, that's a bug. Torch is held down on my side or something. It's interesting. So let's see what where we're at. Oh, is this yeah, okay, that's the way out. Weird. Looks kinda strange the exit there. Okay. It's mighty cold. I don't, I don't really know where we are here, but might as well harvest these. We're at it. I'm sort of fretting a little bit about how I'm going to get all this weight back to uh, the camp office. I've got a lot of weight. Let's 
take a quick peek out here. Hey, okay, do not know where I am. Okay, wait a sec. I think I know where I am. I think this is the cave that my very first interlope, uh, the very first uh, Hush River experience. I came in here, I think, as a last ditch. Yeah, I, cl I believe I climbed up this rope. And the signal fire was over here. And I never found it. Okay, that's a deer down there. Okay, don't need that. So let's go back and get heated up. And I suppose I should figure out... Some place to escape this cold. I think I'm going to drop that fire starter book. I don't think that's coming with us. So that was interesting. Where we are is interesting, that is. Cold, cold outside. Beautiful little ice cave in here. I don't remember this, though, but... Perhaps I did walk down there and then found out that I couldn't go any further. I'm just going to take that, because last time I burned something. Okay, the fire book. Break that f this down. And actually, yeah, the sewing primer, I do want to finish that before I get out of here. Okay. I should have checked that hacksaw. It's just down the hall, right? Okay. Check it out. Yeah, because maybe I've, maybe it's a slightly better hacksaw. It's just over here, I think. Campfire burned out. There's the hacksaw. Use this. 85. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's just take this over. Fifty-niner. Where are we gonna stash it? You know what? I don't even know, like how it gets, if it gets damaged when it's set up. So let's just leave it like that. Nice little tree for somebody coming through. And the hacksaws, yeah. So an eighty-five percenter, definitely take that. That's good. There, set it up nice and visible, and some reading material so people are in good shape. I think I'm probably going to want to keep this thing going. Let's toss a coal in. It's going to heat us up nice and quick. And we're going to go ahead and eat our strange food. Take a risk here. 48 percenter. Let's do it. Got away with it. And... I'm not going to eat these. I'm going to actually drop these. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, let's eat these things. 90 percenters. That was good. Okay, we'll go ahead and warm right up. Or uh, water up. Okay, this is an hour. Okay. So let's go, guys. Actually, sorry. False start. Let's do... Warm out one of these. And let's drop one of those spare cans. So another thing for somebody that shows up here. Oops. Set up nice. They can have some jerky too. There you go. So I guess this fire is going to go out. Uh, or how overweight are we? 36, so we're well overweight, guys. Uh, oh, nice torch. Okay, let's go. 
So yeah, let's get this area explored. And actually, I seem to remember this time when I came up here. Oh. that stick there's that uh, branch up there and I didn't actually go up there last or I did go up there last time it seemed a dead end but I may check it out again just in case there's a loot drop um, I last time I went I think I found nothing and I was wondering why you would go up there okay, we'll take a quick peek but I didn't go this way and as I watched my replay I wondered what text down here and I think this is probably the way to the to the uh, signal fire, so I was probably so close to um, making it that time, but I just didn't know it. Anyway, we'll see. I I'm I'm fairly sure that that's the case. Let's see. Nice and overweight. Lots of sticks here. Hold. Oh, oh, gee, look at that. A block of sand, eh? Okay. So you can drop yourself in, but then you can't get out. Interesting. Let's see if I can get a wind shelter over here. Take the edge off here. Okay, toss in a bunch of sticks. Now let's uh, it's creeping up. Negative six, five, four, three. Toss a couple more in. There we go. That'll do it. Let's take out some scrub brush here. Out of range here. Oh. Let's just do it. Oh, cold damage. Oh, guys, that was painful. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Take a reishi. That sucked, but I did build the fire close enough, so it's on me. Wouldn't be bad actually to get back to that ice cave, but it's looking like this is gonna blizzard. that again. Okay. Make use of this fire. Maybe it doesn't blizzard. Kinda looks like it's slowing down a bit. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage there, guys. Boy, cold damage really takes um, 
your health down in this. Savagely. Oh, see a rabbit. Not sure I want that rabbit, but... Alright, so... What's this? Looks like a cave. Don't see any signal fire this time. Let's just quickly look over here. See what's what. Rabbits are good, but... I suppose I should cook them, eh? Whoa, there's a fair bit of stuff over here, a fair bit of space. Some reishis. Oh, and there's that climb I, I suspected was there when I was here before, but... Huh, I don't know where the signal fire would be, but... I guess it's just not here. See what's what. This is just a straight drop down into the valley. Yeah, yeah. So I got to the bottom of this climb last time and didn't obviously didn't make up make it up. So it's disappointing. getting cold though guys really cold oh there's some birch okay but I think we kind of need to go warm up I'm getting kind of overweight as usual as, as expected birch is really valuable so that's one of the main things I was thinking of carting out of Hushed, apart from gear. Get me in this cave. Wow. Okay, we're warming up back here. Okay, let's get our fire put on, on hold. Kind of a, wow, quite a sloping cave. Yeah, savage weather. Um, I don't know what to say about it. It just is harsh. Come on. So there's no rope there, but I could rope down on the other side. So maybe that's what Turned I'll end up doing. Well. Definitely very, very cold out. Um, and in case of blizzards, I would like to go get those rabbits, but... Parasites are, are healed. Oh, it looks like it ended the... Uh, weather situation. Oh no, it's still going. A deep cave. Yeah, we're, I guess we're just going to eat both these rabbits.
boom, right in the head. And I suppose... Might need a little more wood, eh? It's getting nasty. Thick, thick snow. Quick little wood run over here. Well, we still can. Yeah, we're in for some pretty alpine territory up here. It's like we're all alone in the in the hills here, and uh, yeah, I'm feeling it, feeling isolated. And I'm using a little bit of energy and stuff here to move around because it is cold. I'd like to get another warm day. This is an absolutely perilously cold day. So exploring this ridge is not really too much of an option in this, but... Okay, so let's harvest. Might as well use my hacksaw. Kilogram. And a little piece, 13 minutes. You better put something on this. Let's go harvest this guy. Fresh rabbit. Eight minutes and eleven minutes, okay. Okay. Let's eat these. Now cooking skill is one of those amazing skills that you want to max out because um, eventually we can eat parasite free. Absolutely desirable. Okay, so uh, it's getting a little late. Okay, let's yeah, let's drop those two rabbits and my my little piece of bait meat. I'm gonna take with me. Back is getting kind of heavy. Oh. Okay. Eleven minutes till okay melted. Let's do some reishi prep. Sounds nasty. Take a quick peek. Wind's going the other way now. Oh, but hey, did it warm up? And did it clear up? It did, guys. Amazing. Okay. This is our chance. Our torch situation like it's still pretty good. Okay, let's eat that. Drink that. Take that. Take that. Oh, major torch. Let's go. Probably should have taken the buff. I'm not let's sure take. I can carry much more. So, so we're going to clear out of here and head back up the ways that we came. Bit of a long walk, but it is warm out. We're overweight, unfortunately. 
So I'm gonna take a peek up the hill and see about that one uh, spot. Very cool area though. Let's drink that tea now. Get the buff. Wow, some sun reflecting right there. Big time. Yeah, and the weight's definitely a problem. I'm gonna have to probably do something about this. We I mean, ain't going down no ropes like this, so take a half a kilogram off when I read the book. But yeah, so last time I came up here, and this was a great disappointment because I thought that the fire was through that hole, but alas, it was probably around the corner there instead. Twenty-six torch. That's not as good, but let's use it. So here we go. Here's this fairly deadly looking crossing. And I don't know if this leads anywhere worthwhile. I don't see any loot, do you? A couple of rosehips over there. I don't know why this exists over here. I went here last time and it was equally uh, barren. So, take the rose hips. And actually, last time I, I scaled down the side of this, but very reluctant to do that now. Instead, we're just going to go back to where we came, do this the hopefully the soft way. We're gonna keep moving. Getting colder, um, so I could retreat into the ice cave. I'm going to take a little bit of a look down that way, and see what I find. Um, maybe check the hillside and then around the corner if I can. And then I may just have to either go down that, which I think is probably what I'm going to do, and then find my way from there. Although I seem to remember there being a wolf down there last time, but ice caves scare me. I'm actually pretty reluctant to go back through it tonight. God, that's a trudge. Okay, gaining temperature though. Holy grail. And yeah, it's pretty lonely up here. There's nothing going on.
it's up here. Another cave, probably. Uh, backpack. Oh wow, look at this. Okay. What's this? Wonder if this is any good to eat. Forty percent. I'm still gonna take it. Antiseptic. I'm not taking. It's too heavy. Accelerant. Uh, matches. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, we're gonna eat that later. Might have to right, drop some gear. Right before bed. Although we we ate a lot of rabbit today. It was pretty good. Got to get over to this wall here. Get a wind shade going. There we go. Gaining temperature in the wind shade. So good. Oh, here, here it is again. Headwind. I think I came through here on my first... Uh, I'm going to give the Reishis a break. Because of my weight issue. Don't really want to be carrying too many more of those with me. I'm pretty sure I came down this. Oh, there's a, a birch. Came down this way. Uh, the last time. But it was dark and it was blizzardy. Yeah, down this tunnel here. And I ran into some scrub brush, but now I have a way of dealing with that, so fear not. Probably we're going to start a fire for that, though. I just learned my lesson on cutting scrub brush without being covered by a fire. A little bit of daylight left. down there that scrub brush that got me although I think I saw Dave make the skirt over the top of it it's something I tried to do when I was here but it did not work out so I suppose it's possible but I didn't figure it out in time I just died right in there hope I'd make level 4 pretty soon. I've been in so many fires, but definitely didn't need the fire book. Fires are pretty much a gimme at this point. Okay. Toss in a couple of these. Okay, gaining temperature. That's good. Let's cut this down. Oh, losing temperature. Ooh. Gaining temperature. Now let's cut it down now. And I'm going to go ahead and do a reishi. Better get those going, actually. Too much stuff to carry. Okay, so this is cool. We're into a new territory here. Uh, wind's blowing in our face, of course. Half decent torch, not amazing, but I'll take it. Okay, also half decent. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, big drawing. More rose hips. Gee, I should stop collecting those at some point. But anyway, let's take one more. Okay, this is an epic log, guys. Whoa. Hold off on my reishi actually, because it's not that cold right now. See a cave over there? That actually looks like that could be the entry, guys. Let's just go up. Not all the way. 
That was interesting. I think that could be the entry over there. Which I'm pretty interested in, actually. That might be a shortcut out of here. I don't know if I have to actually... Yeah, guys, that looked appealing. What's this? Okay, and then it can kind of descend down the hill there. Interesting. I may go check that out. I hear some birds, so we're going to want to see what that's all about. Lonely cave. Thank goodness. Oh, uh, can't eat it. Ruined. 37. I'm still going to try on that one. Tell you what. Let's keep going, and let's just, uh, I think I might try to investigate what's down this hill. Maybe I can scale down and then around. I'm interested in those, uh, birds I hear, too. Let's see what's down here. I don't want to get stuck in a spot where I can't get back up, but let's just take a peek. This little corner here. I think I can get down over by the branch. Okay, I hear that, but I don't see it. Way down there. Okay, this is no. This is a death trap by the looks of it. Bunny down there. Oh, there's a dead deer. Don't really need that with all the pork and beans I've got. So, guys, I think what we're going to do is let's get out of here. Uh oh. Okay, there. Let's get out of here. This has been a great stay in Hushed. Um, I'm sure there's more to do here, but anyway, it seems to have taken me full circle. So, I don't know. I'm just saying let's get out of here. Let's get back to um, Milton. I'm loaded down with stuff. Just absolutely loaded down. Let's take a quick peek up here. Another lookout. Beautiful. Yeah, let's just go. I think, I'm kind of thinking like, this is a good find. I, I know, I still have to try to scale that hill, but I think, you know, should be doable. How do we, okay, here we go. Could be a bit of a, mount, a mountaineer activity to go down that hill. We'll see. Or maybe go down this one. Okay, now that looks pretty steep, actually. Maybe it was just misleading because of the snow. Let's see if I can do this. I'd like to skip. I'd like to skip doing the uh, down climb on the rope. Let's see. Yeah. I'd say this is doable. Yeah, you're telling me. Okay. Yeah, that was bound to happen, I guess, guys. So I'm going to take that as my cue to leave. A bit. And we're going to sleep that one off. It is getting close to the end of the day. Ooh, look what I left for myself. I forgot about this. Really good shape. I'm going to haul that all the way to the other side. Hobble our way over. Guys, okay. Feels really good. Feels really good to be leaving hushed. Oh gosh, and now. Okay, so we're gonna collect up everything here. Two liters. I'm actually gonna take the. Oh, there's a crow. Oh, did I bring the other crowbar? I did, so I have 100% crowbar. You know what, guys? Okay, right away. Oh, there's my arrowhead, so it's about to freak out. Now that's what I call overweight. Oh, and a bunch of coal. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. Not yet. 
sick part of me is actually tempted to make it back to the uh, make it back to the trailer like this, but I don't want to get crazy. That's just asking for trouble. Sure, I mean there's no point. But it would be good to eat that. Uh, searched him on the way through, yeah. So I may, I, I probably left some decent kit in Hushed. Um, I'm gonna accept that. I, I came out with the combat pants. Came out with two, another Mackinac jacket. Uh, Wool ear wrap, I think I found here. And you know, assorted uh, maple saplings and so on. All really good stuff. So. No complaints here. Yeah, this is no condition to be going to, uh... Boy, but it is tempting, isn't it? Oh. Starting to have one of those, like... You know... Crazy thoughts. Wouldn't I rather make the time up now? And the answer is yeah, I would. I'm gonna do it. If we get in trouble, I'll light a fire, or I will. Problem is, I can't shoot a bow right now. I have to light a fire, so it's a bit of a nasty situation. Let's take a quick look here. 45 kilos, guys. So the least I can do is um, eat one of these. Try to take my stink down a touch. Let's eat the other one. Take my weight, my stink down just a touch. Still probably one, oh. Down to zero stink then, or not zero, but below 30%, so I'll take it. Wow. A long load. The wolf right over there. It's probably no better than this, right, guys? But he didn't smell me. Weather's great. Really nice to be back here. The million dollar question is, can you sprain two legs? Okay, bunny. Good sighting. Two bunnies. Excellent. Just absolutely dragging myself along here. me. So the logic here is it's already broken, so kind of don't worry about it. We're sleeping in a bed. We get there. Put a little water on. Yeah. Oh, and all this food. My gosh. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to eat the 40 percenters, although a little tempted to just because I'm a crazy risk taker like that, but. Get this thing lit up. Come on, come on. No, well, that didn't work. Okay, that sounds a little closer. Is 
So yeah, we're really going to have to figure our weight situation out. Oh yeah, and I do want to go up to the cars. So I think what we're going to do tomorrow is probably a grand circuit. Do the cars, head back around, loop around, and then back down into town. That's kind of the plan. Okay, let's put this one out. Drop our stuff off, our meat. Okay, that rabbit's down to like absolute garbage. So we're gonna do a little bit of water just because I think we're a little shy on that. And I think I gotta resupply my reishis a little bit. Two, eh, I guess I could do one, but let's just, just do water right now. Okay, let's go inside and actually probably need a torch for this. Figure out what's happening in here. So guys, we're back to the trailer. It's a beautiful thing. It was an amazing few days in Hushed. Everything's cured up. Um, yeah, everything's cured up. So I think probably what we're going to do is, is spend a, a bit of time here. Tomorrow might be a harvest day. Um, okay, green, 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 green. Let's go... Green, 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 green. That's a lot of maples. Okay. And let's take all this up. Drop it in here. I think I was going to repair the hat. I think that was my little scheme. Okay, oh, we have a deer hide too. I don't know what good that is right now, but. Hmm. And, oh, and a heavy hammer. I'm gonna put it over here so I don't forget it. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll never have the weight to take that down. So never mind. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a bed here, right? Yes. Okay, that scared me for a sec. Uh, maybe there wasn't. Okay, so that's all curing. Uh, probably need to do some rose hip work, but yeah, we need to sleep hard. Like, yeah, I think tomorrow's a. Think about this. I don't know what tomorrow is. I don't know if it's a processing day or what. An hour and forty-four. Let's prepare some of them rose hips. Actually, one thing I'm curious about is. I'm curious about the prepared rose hips. Uh, where are they? Okay. Ooh, I got lots. Um, so these are point, uh, point oh five each, right? Twelve times point oh five is point six. These are point oh five each, but these are point one. So that adds a little bit of weight to carry them as prepared teas. Okay, interesting. These are all cooked, everything's cooked. Okay, that's good. Do some torch breakdown. There's no other cooking slots, are there? No. Let's just get these converted back to... Um, So that's four liters. I'll probably just do one more for good measure. I do need to get a new torch supply too, because we're a little low. But I don't know if this works in the same way. Oh, there we go. Those are great torches. That should be good. Five minutes. Okay, I think that's not quite enough. Let's just toss in a couple more. 
So yeah, it's going to come down to some major gear uh, sorting requirement. Um, and I suppose I might as well make this dog foods, pork and beans. Um, whatever, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll stash them inside and we'll talk about eating them. We don't have to. Anything else that needs doing here? Okay, I'd like to read that book. One more hour. Melted. Okay, I think what I need to do is drop one more stick in. Okay, let's go inside. Try to get one hour in that book. No, I'm not healthy enough. Whoa, you can't research when you're sprained. Interesting. All right. And I probably can't do... Uh, probably can't break these down, can I? No. Nope. Bummer. I'm going to need some first aid. Soon. Yep, I feel it. Alright guys, so we're going to tie this off. It's been good. Um, I suppose, you know what? Since we're going to bed, let's take a chance on the old um, pork and beans. Boom, the 37s. Let's do it. Twelve minutes. Okay. What do we have for cans? Oh, we're none yet. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I don't get an extra can for that. What happened to the can? Oh, there it is. Yeah. No, that's my can. Weird. If you put a can in a can, it disappears. Eat it. Did okay with that. And then we've got a little bit of it left. 174. Okay, so let's go inside. Very big day, guys. Amazing day. A whole lot of good stuff happened for us. Um, tomorrow's going to be a monster crafting day. Although, actually, we'll see. So let's go. I just want to sharpen this up. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's do the axe for sure. Sharpen that up. Okay. I think that's all I can do. Uh, let's see about eating the rest of that. Done. Oh. I'm just going to drop it. Drink the water. We're going to sleep for a good old nine hours. We definitely need it. Full stomach and everything. It's beautiful. Heal the wrist. Heal the ankle. Excellent. So that was the first 30 days, guys. I feel pretty good about it. Oh, the, cat, the rabbit bought the farm. That's okay. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and... Well, considering we may be somewhat local today. Let's just hold it at that. Okay, guys? So, end of day 30. Beginning of day 31 getting long here. It's been a pleasure, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow.